weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Miami Dolphins. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. And they run the option on second down. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. And going deep for Hill. It got his man complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. I mean, or else just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. This will cost him 11 yards there on the second and goal sack. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. They'll try and sneak it here. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. It's their quarterback. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Dolphins will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Get on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Good on now, following the touchdown here to kick it away. This one fielded at the 5. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 18. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Good running right there. And this is a man who's a thousand-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Calling the gate of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. On fourth down, Joseph Charlton on to punt. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? 
Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Bengals drive about to get going. And the crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Solid running there. And, C.D., we hear so much about what it takes to win in the playoffs. Most people like to include having a strong running game in their assessment. And with this man in the backfield, this group has a strong running game, without a doubt. Oh, I absolutely agree with you there because in terms of yardage, he's a top-five running back in the league. And in terms of impact on a game, not many better than him. And when they're flowing and he's carrying the ball consistently, they're tough to beat. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Burrow on third down. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 42. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. It's Mixon on the counter, and not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Back to Mixon on second down. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Here's Burrow. And that is incomplete. Like what I've seen so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. The last run got six, now second and four. And they'll try to run the option here. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Evans running behind center. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And that will be incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down, and the Bengals will get the football back. Play action. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Pretty good yards after the catch there on that crossing route. Is a crossing route good for a quarterback because the receiver's coming across his line of vision? They love those kind of throws. And how many times have you seen any of what we call an in-breaking route? quarterback really turns it loose, doesn't he? Has a lot more confidence because he can see the play right in front of him. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll give it to Mixon. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Another try for Mixon. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This is a big play in this wild card matchup facing third and goal. Now it's Burrow. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Point after up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Taking it about the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. But no kneeling for them. They decided they weren't going to run out the clock. They decided to take their shot downfield, hoping to either make a connection or a pass interference call. They wanted more points to put on the board. They're going deep for Hill. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bengals drive about to get going. And CD, we are in for a very intriguing second half. This is what we wanted all tied. This is what postseason football is all about. It certainly is. And doesn't it speak to the parody in the NFL? Roughly half the teams that made the playoffs a year before miss the next year, get replaced. We know it's an any given Sunday mentality. Nothing's easy in the playoffs. But when you have your shot, they're eager to seize it. 48 yards on the ground for him so far. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, it's Mixon. And he's got a Bengals first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Mixon with a first down carry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know this will turn the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day. has got to be priority one. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So stop here defensively to start this third quarter. Just what's needed in a tie ball game. They had a good chance to build back some momentum on the defensive side of the ball. In fact, what they've done is give their offense a nice push in the back as they get ready to take the field. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back third quarter wild card round thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us here's second and ten and he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12 yard line it'll go as a loss of a yard so now they deal with third and 11 backed up here tough spot needing 11 yards to pick up the first they'll set up to throw this one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, it's Evans. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. 
And off the option, he'll try and run with it. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals will take over here at their own 12-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Back to Mixon on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. Mixing up the middle. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And credit the tackle to Brandon Jones. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On the delay, it's Mixon. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle. But when he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Open man. It's complete to Higgins. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Inside handoff to Mixon. He's got it to the 43 here. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 37. 80 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. A potential field goal if you're thinking about that. Almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the lot. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. And they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. 
from here it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Got a man, it's Chase, he completes it. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 13-yard line. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. This is Mixon on the draw. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Back to Mixon on second down. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now Burrow. And this is going to be intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. Six yards there on the keeper at second down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. They'll set up a throw. He sets to fire deep. And that's caught at the 25. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Evans running straight ahead. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then, that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Three yards on the keeper, and it's fourth down. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. And the kick is good. He got it. And it's official now. They're going to the playoffs. The Dolphins advancing in these playoffs as we say so long, everybody.
got a memos on and get a going donkey cone. They got the hand dollar where you give a dog a bone. I'm like, oh, no, you got to get it on your own. They get an attitude, I'm like, you better check your tone. They ain't got no job, need someone want to take a home. I hop up in the car and whip like Indiana Jones. Going George Lucas, now I'm out here killing clones. Coming in strong like, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down. Boosted up my cardio, I used to get to run around. I've been doing this since I had to work at mama house. Tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down. Everybody eating this a party one o'clock. Kill the king, all you shit wanna take the crown. I can see through it like a stomach with a other sign. When I hit the gas, I be going.